satellites are expensive and big and only can be launched by the military, governments or large corporations. Tomorrow morning this will change. A 16-year-old student and his team will launch a LoRa satellite. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with a Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. This is Julian Fernandez with his satellite. His company is called FOSSA, an acronym for Free, Open Source, Software and Aerospace Systems. And his first satellite is, of course, called SAT-1. According the plans, it will be launched tomorrow, Friday 6th, 7.56 UTC. It will be on board of an electron from Rocket Labs, a small rocket which is 12 tons and 17 meters long. It is optimized for small satellites and will start from New Zealand. Interestingly for us, parts of this rocket are 3D printed. I hope not in PLA or ABS though. The satellite is a so-called pocket cube with a size of 5 times 5 times 5 centimeters. The predecessor format was the CubeSat with a size of 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. More than 1000 such CubeSats were launched since 2003. If we remember, one of the first pocket cube satellites was the Eagle 2, also called $50 Sat. It emitted various signals. Its call sign in FM slow Morse, data in fast FM Morse, and digital data telemetry in FSK RTTY. These were old and well known techniques. FOSSASAT-1 uses the newer LoRa technology for transmission and reception. And its purpose is different. It is planned as a relay station. It will receive LoRa messages from sensors and transmits them back to ground stations. Both the sensor and the ground stations use well-known technology like this TTGO LoRa board or an Arduino Nano with a 433 MHz LoRa module so all of us can build one and use the satellite. In my video on Sunday, I will show you how to do that. Important to know is that the uplink to the satellite operates on 436.7 MHz. This is outside the 433 MHz ISM band. And to stay legal, you have to ask a nearby ham radio operator to be part of your tests. I'm sure you will find one who is interested in that topic. Experiments like this might also be a reason to get such a license for yourself. It's not too complicated. I will leave a link to the live stream of tomorrow's lounge. Keep your fingers crossed that everything will go smoothly. There are still many other problems to be overcome if FOSSASAT-1 is in orbit. I hope this pre-announcement was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.